Welcome back to the fourth and final part of the exploitation of Shirley Temple. After being exploited by the movie studios, critics, fans, and even her own parents, Shirley was going to show the world that she was done being exploited once and for all. In 1988, a soda company was trying to use Shirley's name to bottle a version of the Shirley Temple drink. And Shirley sued them to take ownership of her name and brand, and what kills me is that she didn't even like the drink to begin with. The story goes that Shirley Temple was at a restaurant in Hollywood with her parents, and they ordered Old Fashions. Shirley felt left out and started throwing a tantrum because she too wanted an Old Fashioned. And the bartender was not about to have America's sweetheart having a meltdown about this, so he ran to make her a drink, and alas, the Shirley Temple was created. Now, I'm a huge fan of the drink, but Shirley Temple is not. In 1986, she went on record to say that the drink was too sweet and she hated it. Fast forward to 1988 when a soda company was trying to use her name for the bottle and she sued them saying that her name was not a generic term. She famously said that the only thing that a celebrity has is their name. And after being exploited her whole life, I now understand why this was so important to her. She, of course, won her lawsuit. She eventually went on to become a United States ambassador.